Hey, so here's another one that we can work on if you have especially low back pain, if you have hip pain on one side, if you got that same hip hike that I've talked about in some of the other videos where one of your hips is actually hiked up a little bit and whenever you go to twist to one side or side bend to that side, there feels like there's a crunch in here. It could also affect the way that you walk where it feels like when you're walking, you have to bring your leg all the way around to come forward. Not that that's gonna be the main cause of this, but one of the places that can tend to get short is gonna be one of the big low back muscles, the QL, the quadratus lumborum, that's on the back. It's a big, thick muscles. It's almost like the psoas on the back. It almost mirrors the psoas on the back. So it runs from the spine and goes, runs from the spine all the way down to the pelvis. It's a big, thick muscle here between the lower part of the rib cage and the pelvis. So if we can get in there and start to release that, it can do a lot to ease some of that hip height, let the hip drop down more naturally, and start to ease some of the back pain back here. So there's two ways that we can do this. We can do this on the floor, which is can be really intense, or if you tend to be someone that's hyperodontic, it's gonna make it really difficult to get in there on the floor. We put you on the floor, you're probably just gonna arch over the ball. There's not gonna be enough pressure there to make any real release. So one thing that we can do is we can do it at the wall. So I'm gonna take, I'm using here a training baseball. You could use a softball, you could use a lacrosse ball. I like this one for these kinds of things, especially the wall stuff, because it's a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna use this guy for this. Lacrosse ball looks fine, softball looks fine. So first you're gonna find the quadratus lumborum. So if you go to the bottom of your rib cage and top of your pelvis, it's gonna give you a pretty good idea of where the quadratus lumborum is. And again, you don't wanna be right at the spine, you wanna go to the outside of the spine, right after that little thick track of muscles. And somewhere right in there, you can even dig into the side between your ribs and your spine. And that's a pretty good spot for it. So I'm gonna take the ball, I'm gonna place it about right there. I'm gonna push these muscles out a little bit, my upper abs. I'm gonna pull my low belly in and wide. So that's gonna be engaging the TVA. I'm gonna walk my feet away from the wall so I can drop my weight into the ball. Now with both feet on the floor, both quadratus and lumborum sides are gonna be tight and tensed and in use. So one thing that we could do in order to make that muscle release a little bit so it's more of an effective opening, I can lift the same leg side, foot off the floor, and rest that leg. And once I do that, the same side QL, it's gonna relax a little bit more and immediately it becomes a little bit more intense. I can just kind of lean here, pressing into my opposite foot, belly button in and wide. And I can move around a little bit again. I don't wanna be on the rib cage just below it. So maybe the upper fibers tend to get a little bit tighter. And I can stay there for about a minute, minute and a half. From here, this push in here, I'm feeling it actually all the way down into my outer hip into some of the connections of that cue already, so I know I'm in a pretty good spot. In case you guys want to see a little bit closer where I'm putting the ball, here's the bottom of my rib cage, here's the spine, so I'm going to go to the outside of the spine, and then there's a place where you can dig in right there, and even pushing in with my fingers, you can start to feel that muscle. Yeah. i do it from the floor too. Move you guys over here. So now from the floor, try the other side for you. I'm gonna find the same spot. Again, here's my spine. Going just to the outside of my spine. Here are the spinous erector muscles. Just to the outside of that. There's almost a little softness that I can dig my fingers into. That's where I want to go with the ball. I'm gonna lay back. Lift up, put the ball in that spot. Again, if I just let my back arch over the ball, it's not gonna do much. So I wanna lift my hips, even tuck under a little bit. I'm gonna turn my knees, I'm gonna turn my upper body a little bit towards the floor. And to make it a little bit more intense, I could even lift same foot side, cross the foot over the knee, tuck the butt under a little bit, find an interesting spot. Just drop the weight there. And belly in and wide. So 
So I'm not here. Um, here. Let me know what you think. Have fun.